Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install macOS Big Sur on a USB flash drive. You can now use this to reinstall macOS Big Sur on your Mac, and this will save you at least one to two hours because then the recovery partition or internet recovery doesn't have to download 12 gigabytes of installer. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is download the full Mac OS Big Sur installer app. Now I put together this really detailed article that will show you multiple ways to download any installer from 10.11 El Capitan all the way up to 11.0 Big Sur. So let's scroll down I've got a direct link to the Mac App Store for Big Sur. So all I need to do is click on this guy here and it's going to open up the Mac App Store. And here it is, Big Sur. Now all I need to do is click Get, and that's going to download the entire 12 gigabyte installer app right to your Applications folder. Now I already did that, so we can save some time here. All right, we'll open up Macintosh hard drive. We'll go to the Applications folder, and then here it is, Mac OS Big Sur. Now before we begin, we're going to have to plug in our flash drive into the computer. Now I recommend when you're going to buy a flash drive, anything over 12 gigabytes in size and also USB 3.0 or 3.1 for install speed. So now you, as you can see, it's loaded onto the desktop. So all we need to do is open up the terminal app. That's where we're going to be doing all of our work. So we'll click on the desktop. We'll do command space. We'll search for terminal. We'll hit enter and here's our terminal app. Now I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger here so you guys can see what I'm typing in here. All right. Now, all we need to do is run this command as an administrator. To do that, we need to type in sudo and then do a space. And all we need to do is drag the full installer to the terminal window. But if we do that, it's only going to be for the installer. So we have to actually drill into the installer app to find the create install media binary. So we'll do that by control click or right clicking on it and then show package contents. Inside here is all the folder structure of the installer app. Now we're going to go into the resources folder and here's our create install media. So all we need to do is drag that to the terminal line and it'll fill in the command for us. So now that part's done. Now it's going to say, well, where do you want to put the installer? Well, we need to put it on the USB flash drive. So we're going to issue it the dash dash volume command. And we're going to do another space and we're going to drag the flash stick over here and it fills that in too. And then that's it. Hit enter. Type in your administrator password. Give it a second. And it's going to say to continue, we need to erase the volume. So make sure you don't have any data on there and you don't, you know the drill. You, again, like I said, you don't need to format it or anything because this is going to take care of everything for you. If you wish to continue, hit yes, and we're going to hit yes to continue. Erasing the disk. If you get this message here, this is saying that terminal needs to be able to access your removal of volume. Just click OK because that's totally fine. The erase part is now done. Now it's going to be moving over to installing all the files that it's going to need here. And there it goes. Copying files to disk. And if you want to see what's actually going on, we open up the activity monitor here. And we can click on disk and we can see how fast the files are actually copying over. Now we'll go down here and it's copying about four megabytes a second from the disk to the USB flash drive. All right, we're at about 50% here. And as you can see down here, we're picking up some speed. We're pushing about 20 to 30 megabytes a second on average to the transfer speed to the USB stick. So we should be done shortly here. Okay, it finished. It says making the disk bootable and the install media is now available. So we'll minimize this here. And as you can see on the desktop here, it's ready to go. I want to show you a cool little trick. If you want to change the icon, you can just click on the installer inside, go command I to get the information about it. Then click on the USB uh, installer icon, click command I on that. And then go over here and click on the icon, go command C, click on the icon installer. USB and then command V to paste and look at that. It's the Big Sur icon. How cool is that? And we can change the name if you wanted to. You can do the, the version of the installer. You can just click once and give you the ability to click inside there and you can just call 11.0.1 .1 if you wanted to or Big Sur. And that's it. You're done. So now we can with that USB flash stick, you can reinstall Mac OS Big Sur on your Mac. Hope this video created value for you. If it did, click that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.